what would the first maybe 30, 60, 90 days for the first DevRel look like? Because I think that's one of the interesting things is like you can get pulled in so many different directions and because the role is quite different at each company, um, are there sort of a standard set of things that are really um, impactful that the first DevRel can do in their first few months of work? I think the the way that we have it set up and, and the way that I think it varies from person to person is starting from those 90 days and then working backwards. And, and that's kind of how, how you can kind of be set up for success there because each DevRel kind of has their different specialties. One of my coworkers, he's amazing at videos and live streaming and live coding and stuff. And that is his jam, but his blog posts are very, very lengthy. And so he doesn't want to write a blog post a week because they're like 3000 words. And so he, he focuses on doing a couple videos a week instead. And then meanwhile, uh, other people, they don't like doing any sort of content where they speak or make videos, but they love writing. And so they just focus on that. And so depending on the DevRel, that 30, 60, 90 can look relatively different. For myself, I pretty much said, just as an example, at Netlify, when I joined, at my 90-day mark, I wanted to have a weekly live stream going. I wanted to have this many people downloading a certain package by the end of my 90 days. And I wanted to have at least a blog post a week out on the blog. And I kind of set those as very, very high level. But then going back to 60 days and going back to 30 days, it got a lot more granular where I would say, okay, because I want to have this many blog posts out, I need to figure out what is that content going to look like? Do we want it to be tutorial types or do we want it to be more like white paper style? Do we want it to be, um, I don't know, documentation style things? And, and um, for example, one of my goals that I ended up setting at the 30 day mark was to get on a sales call and just be a fly on the wall, listening to what the sales calls look like and then saying, okay, Based on this, I know what customers are looking for. I can refine some blogging decisions and stuff. And so then the more I learn about the company, the more I can get to those goals and beyond them. And so it varies, um, but I, I think being able to set like, this is the general cadence that I want at the 90 day mark is what you want, but then get granular on how you want to get there in those 30 and 60 days. 